With the new Criminal Enterprises DLC released on July 26, 2022 in GTA Online, there have been many changes to how aspects of the game can now be played. One of the most talked about is the so-called nerf to the Cape Rico heist. So in this video, I'll break down exactly what those changes are and to help you decide the best way to now play it. So without further ado, let's get to it. Using data mining, it's possible to see the exact maths behind the changes that Rockstar have implemented. Previously, after completing a Keo Perico heist, you'd have to wait approximately 10 minutes to start up a new one, which would then activate hard mode, meaning a bonus in payout. Or if you waited 48 minutes or more and started one up, it was played in normal mode. Now, if you complete it as a solo player, you'd have to wait 2 hours and 24 minutes before being able to start a new one. But if you completed it as a co-op, that is now 48 minutes. The payouts for the primary targets are still the same. However, the chances of you getting each one has now changed. If you start up a new playthrough within a real time of a 72 hour period, which is 3 days, the chances of you getting the lowest paying primary target of Sinsumito Tequila is now a rather high 60%. But if you came back to the KO heist after 3 days, the chances of Tequila would be 0%, meaning you'd have 40% chance of getting either a Ruby Necklace or Bearer Bonds, or a 20% chance of getting the highest paying target, the Pink Diamond, which will net you a cool $1.43 million. If you did start up a KO within 72 hours, then the Pink Diamond's chances would be halved at just 10%. Another big change, and probably the biggest, is how the secondary loot is paid out. Playing within 72 hours of your last playthrough and Tequila as your target will now pay a bonus 20% on secondary loot. This means that each stack of gold you pick up will be around $550,000, and for each painting, that's worth around $240,000, and so on for the other secondaries. Ruby Necklace will have a 10% increase on secondaries, Bearer Bonds will have a 5% increase, but the Pink Diamond won't have any effect at all. So basically, it's all a bit more evened out. Getting Tequila on normal mode, which would be a worst case scenario, you'd still make at least 1.2 million as a solo player after bagging secondary loot, as well as the Elite Challenge bonus. If you'd like to see the best ways to complete the heist in the fastest possible ways, I've made many videos on the topic, like my Kea Perico in under 30 minute speedrun guide, as well as me explaining how I beat the PlayStation speedrun world record, and also the best way to pick up secondary loot, so I'll leave those links in the description below. These changes are a little confusing and will take some time to get used to, but basically, the so-called nerf is not as bad as people had been making out, it just incentivizes multiplayer teamwork, and let's be honest, it's meant to be a multiplayer game. And this really was the only heist that you could and still can complete as a solo player if you still wanted to. It's the cooldowns which have been nerfed, but the loot has actually seen a slight buff. So if you found this video useful, please drop it a like and maybe consider subscribing for more. I'm Beats Down, and I'll see you in the next one. They have their attack boats mobilized along the